It's one of the longest non-conference rivalries in college basketball. As today, the third-ranked Tennessee Lady Balls and the Texas Longhorns meet for the 32nd consecutive year. See into the post. Now there's Steele. Harrison leading the pack and scores. Harrison with a good steal. And Texas wants a timeout. 9-0 run for the Lady Vols, and Debbie, they've gotten in the passing lanes and just disrupted this Texas offense. They've got length, and they've got a commitment to what I was speaking about before. Closing out, contesting, ball pressure, playing defense with their feet. This is just a great gamble by Harrison. It pays off. A poor entry pass inside, and Harrison up the line with the steal. There's a I think Crystal Henderson realized how tough the entry pass was. You know, you talk about it when you come in here. You've got to make an entry pass. It's very difficult to do against Tennessee's defense. Massingale lost the ball, but there is Carter to pick it up. Guns the pass to Simmons, and now to Harrison who lays it in. That was defeat. Now it's a 13-point lead for Tennessee. Davenport in traffic. Harrison blocks it. Simmons on the run out. What was a four-point game? An 11-0 run for Tennessee. Davenport. Taylor on the Typical enthusiastic Lady Ball crowd on a Sunday afternoon. They've watched the Lady Balls jump from just leading by four, 54-50, and now enjoy a 13-point lead as we head down the stretch. Debbie, what have you liked about Tennessee the last couple of minutes? Well, I really like the way they've attacked the pressure and looked to score. You know, it's a high-risk, high risk Doesn't take it. Reynolds will. And a backside rebound as Burdick goes flying. And if that's on Ennin Polly, she's done, and it is. Uh, now she's going to get a technical foul. Did she toss the ball directly at Burdick, or was she just tossing the ball and it landed on Burdick? Lisa Mattingly and Bob Trammell, the officials, are talking about it. I'm going to call the foul on Ennin Polly. That's her fifth. And then... It's hard to tell from that angle. Does she throw it directly at her? And they have called a technical foul on Ennin Polly. And she just kind of flipped it. I don't know if yeah. she intended to hit her, but well, she did. She knew she was over there. And Massagaya will dribble it out as the Lady Vols win their fifth straight against Texas. Move to 8-0 on the season. Texas drops to 6-3. Texas gave them a game. It was 54-50 late. And then Tennessee finished strong and went off to beat the Longhorns today, 75-61. Debbie, your thoughts on the game? I thought Holly Woolick did a great job coming out of the second half and getting the rebounding on her side, attacking the pressure. The Texas and Karen Aston did an excellent job bringing her team on the road here and the number three team in the country and having